What we're going to do today, we're going to kind of go through uh, some questioning in terms of how we differentiate ourselves in, in the marketplace and how to have a conversation about what we do. So one of the first things that, that always comes up around coaching is the idea of, you know, how do we do what's possible? How do we determine what's possible? So for example, is it a lack of motivation or is it just impossible? You know, should I keep trying something? Should I keep persisting? Or is it really just impossible? So knowing the difference is really an important thing. Don't you think? Don't you think it's important to know whether or not something is possible? So what we want to look at that from a number of different perspectives today that maybe you haven't thought about it before. Chris, you gotta keep your eye on me so that you know when to. Right, so the question is, is it a matter, is it something that uh, just can't be done? Is it a matter of timing or is it a matter of hard work? And no other difference can save you a lot of heartache, right, and time. Because if you're trying something and you say, well, maybe it's just if I just wait a little bit longer, maybe if I'm just patient. Well, what if being patient is just a big waste of time? And I had a client the other day who was talking about how he was waiting for his ship to come in. And just sat there and just waited. Ships came in, but it wasn't his ship, so he just waited. So how many people are waiting for their ship to come in? They're waiting for something to happen. And that that's what they do. That's the way in which they function. So. How do you know the difference? How do you know whether it's just a waste of time or you should wait? Timing. It's a tricky thing, isn't it? It's a tricky thing when you're coaching someone and you can't necessarily tell the difference. Because if, if it's not a matter of timing, then you get better get moving, right? But if it is a matter of timing, then you better wait. Or you better slow down. And how do you know the difference? It's an important distinction, isn't it? Timing is one of those things that you can, you can make it about that when in fact it's not about that. And sometimes it is just about that. So, differentiating that is very, very important. Now, often what happens is, is that people put a lot of emphasis on knowing more things. Oh, I'm going to know more. I'm going to study more. If I just know more, read more books, go to more lectures. Then if I know more, then, then I'm going to get it. Just tell me more information. More information. More information. Well, what I have found is that information never is a determination of whether people are successful or not. Because you can tell somebody the answer to a question, like all these books, these self-help books, they have all the answers in it. But how many people actually use that information in a way that actually helps them? That means it. So knowing is not enough. Now some people say, well, no, we just got to do it. You just got to get out there and go do it. Well, what if you're doing it and you're not knowing? You're doing the wrong thing. So you're working really hard at something that doesn't really work. Then what? So what if it's neither doing or knowing? Then what do you do? Oh my gosh, it's not doing, it's not knowing. What is it? How to proceed. So I want to draw a distinction here around something we call structure. Well, structure is uh, what we call the boundaries of what's possible. In other words, 
there's what's possible, and then on the other side of that, it's impossible. So there are limits. There's always a limit to what's possible. So think about the idea of what the limits of possibilities actually are. And how do you know where that limit is? How do you cook someone when you don't know what the limits of those possibilities are? It's a fascinating question, isn't it? How do you know it's like space? How do you know where the upper limit is? So let's look at some things that are real structural limits. Some limits that really do exist. Let's, let's take a look. So, for example, we have something like evolution. Now, in evolution, for example, if you think about evolution in terms of experience, if you ask me to type 300 words a minute, I couldn't do it. Magdalena is probably the only one I know that could do that. She can type it while singing. Singing the U.S. National Anthem backwards. But I can't do that. So some things, experience allows you to do things that, you know, for example, if you are trying to learn a language, like Chris wants to learn German. So if you put him in a situation, you put him on television, and you say, okay, Chris, we're going to put you on German television next Tuesday. He would bomb because he is not capable of learning a new language that fast. Evolutionary, we are not able to do that. Now there may be some outliers who can do that kind of thing, but evolutionary can do it. So in terms of experience, sometimes people need experience to be able to do things that they can't do today, but with experience they'll be able to do. So having someone try to exceed their ability, their experience, it means that maybe they haven't evolved to that level that they can't do it. So there is a limit based on what you're capable of, and that limit may expand over time, but that's based on an evolution. And awareness is one of those things as well. You know, if once you, I don't know if you've ever had this experience, where you don't know how to do something, and all of a sudden, or you don't understand something, and as soon as you do, it becomes really easy, right? Like when you were studying uh, engineering, you're an engineer, right? Yeah. Like, when you first looked at the first drawings, or anything, you're like, like, huh? Like, what? How is this possible? So, from an evolutionary perspective, when you have gained your understanding, you have your awareness, all of a sudden it becomes simple. You can see it, it's not really easy. But when you're first starting, forget it, it's daunting. Let's look at another chemistry. If I gave you a certain amount of alcohol, you'd get drunk. At some point, you'd get drunk. You have no choice. You'd get drunk. Now, Robbie, for example, you may you know, have to give quite a bit. You may wait a while. You know? You may wait a few hours. But eventually, eventually, it would happen. I guarantee you. I mean, it might, it might have to be some hard stuff, <laughs> but that's okay. It would happen. So the point is, is that the alcohol would determine whether he got drunk, not his will. He could say, well, I'm not going to get drunk. You give him, you know, a whole bottle of tequila, or two, at max three, he would get drunk. Especially if it was on an empty stomach. Maybe four. That would be like absolute awesome. Okay? Habits. Our habits determine what's possible. Now we, we have a habitual ways of doing things. Like anything that you practice, sports or whatever, 
we get locked into these habits, and then you want to do something different? Try it. Very difficult. Habits dictate how we do things. And so if you're coaching a client, and, and they have a habitual way of failing, for example, they're going to be locked into that. And so trying to get someone to not have a habit You'll be there all day. So we don't try to work against these kinds of things. We try to address the fact that that's there, and that's a structural limitation. Now, the next one you look at biology, for example, height. There was a guy one time, and he tried to get rid of. A, he was trying to get out of a crime, and. And, um, and they measured him against, they measured him the height that he was today and the height that he was like, and this guy's like 40, and that height he was like two years ago. And the guy says, no, 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 I was actually shorter then. No, 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 you can't be shorter. After a certain point, that's it. Okay, if you try to create change, this is really important. Because nobody, very few people will tell you this. This is, this is the secret sauce here. You're ready for the secret sauce. Because <laughs> this, it really is important. The thinking, the level of thinking that you're on determines the range of possibilities. You cannot create beyond the level of thinking of what you are. So if you're trying, if you're doing, and when you're coming out of a certain level, you can only do and think based on that level. You can't exceed that. That's why planning and hoping and trying and doing and all those things, if you don't deal with the fact that you're in on this level of thinking, you will be limited. You will be limited to what that, what you can produce on that level. That's why people get stuck. Because they try, they try to create things beyond the level in which they want. And you can't do it. You cannot do it. And that's why it seems impossible. That's why the idea of going to the stream means that you bring into, into existence, you access a higher level of thinking. And that higher level of thinking actually helps create the transformation. By holding the intention, you access that level of thinking and it begins to shape your reality. It moves you into another dimension. That's powerful stuff. So we bypass all this other stuff. We bypass the psychology stuff. Working, overcoming, and all that. You can't do it. You can't operate outside the stage that you're in. So it's better just to hold the intention and move forward. It's very important. So that's the difference in what we do. That's what we that's how we function and that's different. So, um, we don't say that it's not grounded in reality. We don't say that it's, it's about just having some fantasy. This is not about that. But it is about holding an intention. Okay, so, one of you that every week will have uh, 15, 20 minutes or so of this kind of presentation. And then, then what we're going to do is we're going to open it up for discussion. And then we're going, uh, first we're going to do some, uh, some questions and answers, then we're going to open a discussion and we'll actually do some coaching uh, for anybody who wants to be coached around this or anything else. Okay, so, question.